Libra, oh Libra, wish popping. What's going on in the life of a Libra for the month of March 2019? Are we in this place of review, going over things, taking second looks? The great gathering of information, the informative age? <laughs> hey boo hey if this is your first time to my channel i'm mocha also if this is your first time to my channel look out i cuss i may cuss a little may cuss a lot just depending on what the hell these cards say so if cussing does not work for you please feel free to find yet another beautiful reader on youtube that can best assist you <laughs> without cussing because see me how i'm set up i'm gonna do that all right um to all of my new subscribers welcome to the family y'all we a little dysfunctional we don't fight and fuss we need that shit on other people's channel but we cuss we share, we grow, we love, we enlighten, we evolve, we inspire one another, you know. And so, guys, posy vibes only. Um, to my returning subscribers, familia, what the hell been popping? What's going on? What is pop? March has been such a crazy yet an inspiring month. This retrograde in Pisces has been quite the enlightening one, and I gotta say that it's even allowed me to see different aspects of myself and. Take a second look, you know, over things in areas of my life where I thought that I had actually mastered it. Let me know. Oh, no, bitch. <laughs> we got work to do. Okay. We got work to do. All right. So it's not a place. Um, we're not in a place where you should be judging yourself or other people. You should simply be looking um, looking at situations and kind of understanding um, ultimately why those people are in our lives and the lesson that they came to teach us ultimately about relationships, but about ourselves. All right. So let's get it. This will be for my sun, my moon, my rising, the Venus, as well as the cross watches, gang, gang, because I'm a cross watcher when I'm off, for the sign of Libra. All right. Um, this is a, a general reading. It's not a personal. If you need a personal, that information can be found in the description. I actually got a sale going on. Go check it out. It's in the community tab. Um, so it's not going to resonate with everybody. Take what does, leave the rest. Don't try to make that damn shoe fit if it's too motherfucking big because it's not happening. All right. So let's rock it. We're going to start with your intuitive messages, um, with the energy that I actually meditated on and got for Libra for the month of March, all right? Sorry, y'all. You over here making big notes and shit. <laughs> all right, so Libra, what I got for you all was life, purpose, clarity, self-worth, forgiveness, sudden wealth, past life, karmic, New love, medicine woman, centering, catalyst to awaken, spiritual teacher, Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius, Sagittarius, Aries, Pisces, Leo, Capricorn, Virgo, compromise, realization of self, and abundance. Okay? So if those intuitive messages did actually um, resonate with you, this is your reading, all right? So we're going to start also with your angel messages for the month. The, um, your angel message comes from Archangel Raziel, Spiritual Understanding. I'm bringing you esoteric information and symbols and helping you understand spiritual truths, okay? So I do see that that makes a lot of sense with the overall energy being the ace of diamonds okay so some of you guys could uh, be receiving some type of clarity or come to the realization of um come to the realization of subjects as well as um your views on people and circumstances to kind of give you a greater understanding of why you had to go through that and experience that so that you can really choose your damn self and choose what it is that you will and will not accept or allow in your life all right so let's get it spiritual messages for the month a lot of you guys um, may be in this place. A lot of you guys may be in this place where your intuition during this time is going to be extremely heightened. Some of you all may be also dreaming of alchemic symbols as well as seeing a lot of white birds during this time standing for the rebirth as well as purity. Some of y'all may also um, find that you're that you have an aisle, aisle, my country is, an owl 
as your spirit totem animal, okay? And for some of you all, during this new moon in Libra, this is going to be a very, very, very heightened time, especially when it comes to telepathic connections that you have with other people as well as your dream states. I definitely feel like it's all about perception and you just know this more than one way of looking at things. And spirit definitely wants you to use your intuition, not from a place of condemnation where you condemn another person. Oh, well, you did this. You ain't shit. I knew you was a cheater because your daddy didn't was a fucking cheater. Your uncle was a cheater and your mama ain't shit. Don't, no, ma'am. No, sir. We're not, we're not doing that. Okay. We're not coming into 2019 with that bullshit, all right? So I will say, um, and this could be the other person within your energy, but I definitely feel like this is more so about Libra, having this heightened awareness, having this heightened intuition, this all-knowing during this time. And some of you all may be experiencing, uh, experiencing a lot of deja vu moments, okay? Um, with the deja vu moments, I feel like, um, and this is connected to those of you who are dreaming of those alchemic symbols, because there's a lot of past life energy with this shift that we're having going on, especially when it comes to the open of the um of the actual uh, spring equinox portals so with that a lot of souls are there's this gathering of souls there's this gathering that is occurring and for some of you all you really need to take your ego out of situations and circumstances for you to see the greater good of the actual lesson and the blessing that some of these circumstances and people came to bring your life even if it's just wisdom okay so i do see a lot of you all could also be dealing with the twin flame during this time but I feel like this is more so of a balancing of the masculine the masculine and feminine aspects of yourself. We all have an inner divine that feminine as well as masculine. It doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman. I definitely feel like some of you guys could be actually aligning with your twin flame or some of you all are having a telepathic connection um, to either a past life soulmate, all right? Or this could be someone from your past. Some of you all are... Um, some of you all are new or fresh or fresh or, or kind of going through a fresh awakening during this time. And I feel like this kind of goes from February coming into the month of March and it's going to continue going into the month of April. But I definitely feel like there's a balance in that coming com, coming into play. Some of you all are really needing to center yourself as far as grounding. It, it, center yourself as far as in, some of y'all got an overactive solar plexus. And you're really needing to ground yourself. This is why you're finding yourself in this damn like anxiety filled place or this place of feeling stagnancy because ultimately your instincts, your instinct is already, your instinct have this knowing of what it needs to be doing. However, that damn head of yours is overthinking things during this time and you're really needing to ground yourself and find balance, okay, within the feminine and the masculine aspects of yourself. Use your feminine energy to be able to create anything having to do with ideas and creative, um, creative gestures or creative sparks, okay, even if it has to do with your own divinity. Some of you all are really needing to step outside of other people's energy and really get in tune with your own because this is a very heightened time. You guys are very energetically sensitive during this time. Some of you all are in this place of review, okay? You're actually starting to see, some of you all may be finding, especially, um, I'm hearing water signs. So for those of you who are dealing with a water sign. Some of you all may be experiencing new love with someone. And I definitely feel like some of you guys are not moving when it comes to matters of the heart, as well as a relationship that is bringing expansion to the heart chakra here. I feel that some of you all are really having a hard time with releasing things from the past. This retrograde and um, this uh, Mercury retrograde in Pisces I, re really, really is bringing things to the surface, but it's bringing aspects of the surface, not more so bringing aspects to the surface, not more so about other people, but more so you accepting every aspect about yourself, baby, the good, the bad, the ugly, not judging it, but understanding why you needed both aspects or to have that understanding of both aspects to even continue on your path in, in, in ascension. OK, it's actually allowing you to actually look your partner in the eyes or your karmic partner where you're knowing some of you all. This has to do with the karmic partner and you actually seeing aspects of this person. OK, while you in this place of review during this time, you're seeing aspects of this person that kind of is giving you the giving you the feeling of being a double edged sword. For some of you all, you're attracting controlling, manipulative people because you have some aspects of that within you. For some of you all, you know, for some of you all, you need to understand that just as people come into your life as karma, you are, you can be karma in someone else's life and karma can be good or bad. It's not about wrong or right. It's about a choice. It's about making a free rule choice, reflecting on that choice and understanding and being accepting to both, to both aspects of yourself, which is going to ultimately bring you balance.
And for some of you all, it's actually going to be a catalytic situation or this. Uh, for some of you all, you're experiencing um, you're experiencing this. Um, I would say roller coaster. Some of you guys are experiencing these roller coasters or these flights of emotion. that kind of come in and leave out. I don't feel that they're like staying and like being persistent. I feel that they're more acute. They kind of come and go. I definitely feel like some of you all, there is balance coming to um, some type of union. For some of you all, this is going to be compromised, coming to an agreement with someone who may be um, a lower vibration of yourself. This could be a karmic partner. And for some of you all, I'm here in family. So this could be someone who you have family with or for that matter, coming to an understanding to agree to disagree and just walk away in acceptance, okay, and letting things go, even with getting clarity from situations, especially around family matters um, from the past. For some of you all, you're reflecting on the past and intuitively you already know what spirit is telling you. However, you're having a hard time moving forward upward. OK, we're letting that hurt go. Some of you guys are in a place where you will be really using that hurt, using those lessons, using that reflection to actually turn your pain into power. Some of you guys are healers. Some of you guys are spiritual teachers. And understand this. If you don't understand shit else. How the fuck can you teach some shit that you ain't never been through? So instead of looking at it from a sad place, be grateful because the, you, you that, that situation was simply a catalyst to move you forward towards your life path and assisting other people who, and, and for one, for some of you are in prevention and for some of you are, it's, it, it's, it's assisting other people in accepting their truths and not judging themselves or for that matter beating themselves up like you have in the past because you ultimately know you ultimately know what that feel like it's shifting it's shifting the sh shifting accepting cycles in your life in order to move you forward in assisting others to make that shift and or helping others to make that shift in the future okay some of you all are really needing to some of you all are possibly reflecting over a situation that could have happened um either this is a brother for some of you all, okay? For some of you, I'm also hearing death. So some of you all are blaming yourself for possibly a brother's death during this time. And you're really needing to reflect, truly reflect and, and, and move from this place of judgment towards yourself and understand that everything happens for a reason. Spirit don't make no mistakes. And understand that there are processes to death. The soul never dies. But it's about you expanding your your consciousness, you expanding your understanding for you to find that acceptance and find that peace within yourself. Can't nobody else give you that. OK, for some of you all, it's actually some y'all are actually trying to balance a relationship, possibly with the father of your child. This could even be your father or for that matter. There's a restructuring, a reprogramming, a. Um, Mercury got me fucked up. I'm not going to let it defeat me with taking my words. There's a restructuring to your subconscious and the way you pro the way you're programming yourself to see people, places, things, situations. Some of you guys are also could be learning about the occult. Some of you some somebody is doing some damn whoever is manifesting um some type of protection around land or or some so whoever is um I'm not going to say manifest and I'm going to, this is straight up invoking spells. Okay. For those of you who are, um, practicing spell work or those of you who are doing spell work, spell work or some type of moon ritual for, uh, protection and abundance. And for some of you all, it's actually some of y'all are going to be, um, trying to gather information on how to assess your Akashic records during this time. Some of you all may also be finding out that some of y'all may be finding out that someone, um, actually um could have tried to take take some type of inheritance from you or um someone could have tried to cut you out of a wheel this could be someone who could have also paid someone else to kind of be um like a diversion to cause blockages in your life some of you all are finding out that you have um like source sorcerer or sorcery type background in your family, like it's genetic, it's ancestral. Some of you all are um, finding out that you are uh, white witches. Some of you guys are trying to learn how to um, work on the law of attraction. Some of you guys are practicing the law of attraction. Some of you all will be in this state where you're trying to um, 
learn how to manifest to bring healing towards the collective. However, you kind of pass in judgment towards yourself on how you will be seen if you actually fully move within the past. Look, baby, you can't have one foot in and one foot out. The water's fine. Bring your ass on up in here. Hell, I can't swim and I'm telling you about this shit. Yeah. For some of you all, it's learning, getting some type of information or clarity towards your life path. Some of you all may be experiencing pains um, around the pineal gland. There is some type of expansion happening within the pineal. Some of you all are actually um, honing the ability to have premonitions or visions. I want you not to be afraid. You really need to get out in nature to practice and really, really become one with yourself. That's that balancing act, the ba the, 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 the balance between that masculine and the feminine. Okay, You got to know which energy that you're dealing with. And you got to first be in tune with your own energy before you just get to mixing your damn energy with other people out really nearly. The hell? All right? All right. Some of you guys have a very passionate connection that is uh, either could be occurring. This you could have some of y'all could have actually met someone um, in February, and in the month of March, you have been in this sensual energy. For some of you all, this person came into your life to assist you with healing, and you'll find that you guys are literally like the same person. You your your aspects of the same soul. This person. Um, may be more so in tune with their higher self. I feel like whomever this is, they assist you in being reflective, but they don't really talk much. However, they speak. This person knows how they, they express their self more so through their passion. And some of you all are having a hard time with trusting the situation because um, you're really needing to reflect and release some things from your past. And for some of you all, it's coming from um, childhood. For some of you all, it's coming from young adulthood. And for some of you all, this could have to do with love in general, the way that uh, your views around love, your perception of love. You know, you don't have to be fearful. Everybody's not coming to shake your damn tree up and, you know, throw all your damn apples on the ground. Everybody's not coming to shake your tree. Okay? All right. So, spirit... What messages do you have for my beautiful leaders for the month of March in love? What messages do you have for my summer rising Venus, as well as the cross watchers for the sign of Libra for the month of March in love? What can they expect? Okay. All right. So some of you guys are freeing yourself from situations where you feel trapped or stuck in. I feel like some of you guys are... Some of you guys could also be dealing with the, some of y'all could be dealing with an Aries. Some of you guys could also be dealing with the Pisces. Okay, but I feel like whomever I'm speaking to, you feel trapped in a situation. I feel like you want to take a leap of faith, all right, and actually go express your love or offer your love. And this could be someone moving towards you, okay? This could also be a cross watcher. This could be a situation that has become stagnant where someone has the intentions on making a move and expressing their love. Some of you guys could also be receiving a, receiving an apology from an Aryan person, from an Aries, okay, in order to move things forward um, after, a, a, a point, after a period of stagnation. Some of you guys all could also be expressing um, or taking a leap of faith towards new love, possibly with the younger, I mean, yeah, with the younger water sign. This person could be a cancer. Some of you guys are moving away from moving away from stagnant situations. I feel like there is passion there. OK, however, beyond the passion, like when we get up, I don't even like your ass as a person. So how we let's talk about it. Like what are we going to do? You know, um, yeah, some of you all are feeling some of you all are feeling as if you can't, as, as, as if it's not safe to take a leap of faith, possibly with fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This could have to do with this person um, not really opening up and being vulnerable. Or some of you all are having um, a passionate connection with someone. But what you're not telling them is that you have this fear of vulnerability. You don't really want to open up to this person, even though your souls are really have, have really come together and aligned in divine timing. I feel like for some of you all, some of y'all are dealing with... Um, a situation that could include a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or another air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I feel like some of you all um, felt stuck in a situation. Or this could be past energy I'm hearing. Um, but someone felt stuck or uh, trapped in a situation, possibly with the water sign, okay? Someone could have actually stepped out in the past, and some of y'all are finding out that there were karmic children, okay, that were made 
in the process of somebody wanting to go spread their damn holy seeds. Okay, so um, with that, this could have actually been a toxic. This is, and for some of you all, this was already a toxic relationship. It was a toxic situation to begin with. Since you weren't making any move, this was just a catalyst situation for a spirit to actually assist you in making the move. For some of you all, you're afraid of taking a leap of faith, possibly with a Capricorn or a Sagittarius person. But some of y'all definitely got a Sagittarius, a Sagittarius coming forward. Sagittarius or Cancer coming forth towards you. Um, or this could be Aries, Pisces, Capricorn is here. Matters not the damn sign. Some of you guys got someone uh, returning back from possibly um, someone who you had a toxic fucking relationship with where there was a lot of deceit for some of you all for some of y'all it really wasn't deceit it was just the fact that this person really didn't know how to fuck to communicate they don't really know how to open up you're expecting something from someone who doesn't really have the foundations of proper communication that mature communication they don't have the know-how they weren't raised like that if you actually ask this person open up and be vulnerable just with this person even if it's just you writing it down you know you write down uh one fun fact about your damn self and allowing opening up the floor to want let this person know that you're interested in wanting to know that about them that is going to be able to shift your relationship in a whole no, in a whole new way okay for some of you all some of y'all, the only thing that's keeping you stuck in a relationship is sex. When ultimately, if you take a leap of faith, your fulfillment possibly lies in the, well, ain't no possibly, your fulfillment lies with another, okay? I do see there's a releasing of some type of toxic relationship, some type of toxic environment, toxic um behavior. Some of you guys could also be um, moving completely away from drinking or alcohol. You could be um, detoxing from alcohol or any type of um processed foods during this time but you're definitely in the energy of healing okay for some of you all you're moving away from someone who made you feel abandoned or someone who made you feel as if you weren't enough or as, as if you didn't have enough or someone who didn't kind of want to meet you halfway as far as especially when it comes to children okay for some of you all this could definitely be an earth sign capricorn towards virgo but some of you all, um, there is definitely someone returning back from the past, someone who possibly could have been um, th whoever this person is. They have a whole lot of narcissistic ass qualities to themselves. I feel like this person has a way of pointing the finger. Accountability was an issue in the past as well that was keeping this relationship stagnant because someone would rather point the damn finger than to actually get to a solution, a solution to the problem. And for some of you all, you're having a hard time releasing yourself to it. From a yeah, from possibly a third party situation, due to the fact that you and this person have some type of financial ties to one another. For some of you all, it's just really clearing your energy. There's a massive clearing that's that's occurring after you go through this reflection period during this month of March, moving into April. A lot of you all are gonna be straight up no no nonsense. What the fuck do you want? Okay, how many kids you got? Do you get along with their mother? How often do you see your children? Were you dating anybody else before me? You want you, you uh, do, uh, uh, do you randomly go out on dates and have drinks and shit with pretty girls? How often do you do this shit? Because you know this is kind of not. You ask the right questions. Here, why is the hangman here? Why is the hangman here for Libra? Why is the hangman here? Yeah, for some of you all. Some of you guys feel trapped or stuck in a relationship, possibly with the water sign. I do feel like you love this person. However, the only thing I, you love this person, but I feel like for some of you all, you feel like this person keeps you out of the know when it comes to finances or for some of you all, this person makes you feel less than or kind of like makes you feel this feeling of lack as if you're not enough or you're not doing enough. Ungratefulness is what I'm what I'm hearing and feeling. Why's the fool here? Why's the fool here? Yeah. For some of you all, you're going to choose to take the leap of faith and do make a decision for you and choose to heal. Some of you all could also be making secret plans to actually leave someone out in the cold. Some of y'all could also be looking for like a place or looking for um, a place to move. Some of y'all could actually be moving away towards someone new. OK. Um, Aries season and Taurus season going to be very interesting for you guys as far as movement. A lot of you guys are freeing yourself freeing yourself from situations with people that is just no longer assisting you in your growth process. Why is the chariot here? Why is the chariot here? Why is the chariot here? Yeah. Resistance. Some 
For some of you all, you're dealing with a fire sign. This person is coming in to apologize. However, they, they're apologizing and I feel like they're omitting things within the apology. Like there, there's this apology, kind of like instead of saying, I'm sorry, I hurt your feelings. It's more like, I'm sorry you took it that way because just asshole. Some of y'all are dealing with an asshole and this person is a self-sabotager. They stand in their own way and you're coming to the realization that you just can't save and help and sacrifice yourself for everybody. Are they worth it? Do they make you feel as if you're worth it? You got some shit to think about. Why is the devil here? Why is the devil here? For some of you all, it's receiving a practical order, a renewal. This person wants to start over, especially if this person is a Capricorn. This person could also be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or Sagittarius. This person could also be Taurus, Virgo, any earth sign, any water sign. If it's fire, it's Sag. I feel like this person is coming back with a stable offer, but they still coming back with toxic shit too. Coming back with baggage is what it sounds like to me. Yeah. For some of you all, after you get this truth and clarity uh, regarding the deception, regarding deception from the past and why this person actually left you out in the cold and moved away. For some of you all, this is actually having to do with the family, the family situation. This could be the, the father or the mother of your child. So you're really kind of wanting that new beginning. You're wanting to move forward and take that leap of faith and trust this person. But you're really needing to ask the right questions to get clarity. For some of you all, ask this person, are they willing to go to therapy to actually resolve the matters? All right, but definitely don't move so fast. Spirit is saying there will be movement, but take your time. You're really needing to get out of this place of um, indecision. There's clarity that's going to be coming to you to assist you in making a decision that's fair for everyone else involved. But what I, what my advice is to you, what my advice to you would be is to not lose yourself in this damn Mercury retrograde energy and just rush right in like, yeah, we're going to fix my family. And yes. And then before you know, it, you come home from work and this person's all this person's shit is gone. And you got a damn dear John letter because this person wasn't ready. And you didn't ask the right questions to even acknowledge if this person was ready. OK, for some of you all, if you can't get the whole truth, they ask got to still stand outside the door and tell you about it like Jody ass did. I want to see my kids. OK, well, look, let me bring them outside. And Patty, I'm not playing with your ass. You're not coming in here with that same fucked up energy. Keep that outside in the streets because we don't want it. It's about standing your ground and meaning what the fuck you say. People do what you allow them to do. Why is this father of pentacles here? Yeah. For some of you all, yeah, this is definitely a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. They want them to come back and make you um, a secure offer. They want victory. They want movement forward. For some of you all, you some, some of y'all are going to find balance in moving away from this person. And in doing so, you're going to find yourself in a situation where there is equal give and take. OK, so for some of you all, it's moving away. And some of you guys, this is going to be done in secret. OK, for some of you all, this part, the truth is this person moved away to go explore the damn grass because y'all, they really like grass. They ain't got no money to buy no damn fertilizer for some of the ass. Some of them have some have some ciabatta, but some of them ain't got no damn money to buy no fertilizer. Y'all been fertilizing their grass. They don't even have the fucking know how to keep the damn grass growing. So for some of you all, it's about you making a decision for you, not for other people. And I hate when people say, well, I'm doing this for my kids. You don't think them damn kids know dysfunction when they see it? And you don't think that their that they little subconscious is sucking in all those little toxic ass behaviors that you don't think they paying attention to? So when a teacher call and say, little Johnny call this little lady a stupid ass bitch because his daddy is verbally fucking abusive. What do you expect? You going you going you going to want to spank little Johnny and tell him no no? Who going to whoop your ass? It's something to think about. All right? So I love you so 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 very much. This is what I have for my Librans uh, for the month of March, you guys. If you need that personal, you guys hit me up. Also, in advance, thank you for the likes, the shares, the subscribes, the comments, y'all. I truly appreciate it. I read every comment. I may don't have time to reply because it's a bunch of y'all asses. I ain't going to lie. It's just one little old me and 10,500 and still counting family members. Okay, so I do read each and every comment. For some, I, I, I'm able to have the time frame to uh, coming back. For some, I can't. But that does not mean I love you any less, you guys. I want to send you many blessings, much healing, you guys. Truly, truly, truly reflect on some shit, all right? Ask the right questions and ensure that if you're making a decision that's just for all, 
that most importantly, you're at peace with it because it's your life, not nobody else's. So don't let outside forces say, well, girl, or man, if I was you, I would, well, motherfucker, you're not me. And for that matter, when you see me falling on my face all this damn time, why you ain't been said nothing? Or been stepped in and helped me? Something to think about. Food for the soul. I love y'all. Namaste, babies. <laughs>